So if you live, work in the city of Toronto, uh, and even surrounding the city of Toronto, you probably know and have seen some rats. And it seems now that rats are on the rise. Daniel Mackey joins us this morning from Greenleaf Pest Control. You're a pest control specialist, professional. Uh, you're telling me about a 25% increase year over year. Yes, over the last few years we've noticed a steady increase. This year in particular, uh, there's been a bit of a, a spike, about 25% we've noticed and reported in our office alone. What should people be looking for? So if they think they have rats, what are some of the key things that they should be looking for? Well, very often people will know. They'll see them outside. So at dusk, they're nocturnal mainly. And if, so if you see them during the day, it's usually indicative that there's a bigger problem at hand. Um, so, but if you see a rat in your backyard, well, then of course you know you have rats. But look for holes, telltale signs. They tend to burrow. Um, so there's going to be holes in the garden, holes around the foundation of your house, um, and then their droppings, their poop, is the size of olives. So you look at, at an olive pit, um, that tells you that you know, you've got holes, you've got these pit-sized droppings, chances are you may have rats. Yeah, and when it comes to having the rats, here's some pictures that you brought to us. This is some of the burrows that they've done underneath some of the floorboards there. It looks like of a, of a residence. Yeah, so this is a, a, in a shed, that in the back shed. You can actually see where they've excavated all of the soil and created these beautiful sort of burrow holes, nice and uniform, but they had to, they had to pull out all that dirt, so there's a big pile of dirt and then holes. Yeah, so if in the basement you see mounds of dirt, that's a pretty good indication that you have rats. Yeah, and in a basement it's common. You know, they will burrow down six feet sometimes and get underneath, you know, in, into a foundation of a house, either around where you have a sump pump or if it's a, a dirt floor or a crawl space, they will get in there as well. We're talking about urban chicken farming right now. A lot of people want chickens in their backyards, but you're yeah. telling me too, that encourages rats to come around as well, just to eat some of the the feed. Right, and sanitation is so important, Frank. When you think of your chickens, there's always spillage. Or if you think of your vegetable garden, you know, there's tomatoes that fall. The storm last week, the storm last night, there's, there's spillage. Things fall on the ground. Well, you have to clean that up or else that's food for birds. It's food for rodents as well. And so you want to keep the sanitation up because sanitation really is pest control. If there's nothing else for them to eat, then you stress them out and they move on to the, out of the environment. Okay, let's talk about controlling right now. So first off, you brought gloves there. If people are clean, cleaning up the mouse droppings, the rat droppings, should they be wearing a respirator? A respirator is always recommended. You know, a set of gloves, I mean, you're always going to wear gloves because, again, you don't want to get anything on your hands. And then wet the droppings down. I like, you know, bleach or some kind of accelerated hydrogen peroxide or even a vinegar and water. Wet it down, wipe it down, make sure it's clean. Protect yourself. So mask gloves, wet down the droppings, and off you go. So you got some devices here how you can control the rats themselves as well. Uh, those are just bait stations, I guess? Yeah, so here you have bait stations. Um, this is sort of your classic black one that you see sometimes outside of buildings, outside of some of the homes. Um, we have a, a more sort of discreet version of this, which is uh, it's a box where it looks very much like a little hydro box. It mounts to uh, the side of the house. You can put it around some wires. You can put it around your existing boxes as well. Um, if you've got gas pipes, um, and it hides quite readily. It doesn't scream that we have got rats and some people are very concerned about being discreet. And once you take care of the problem, the next thing is, is to kind of, hey, the reason why you got the caulking gun there is to block all those cracks and crevices and not allow them to come back in. You got it. Stay away from caulking. Um, use concrete. So this is a, a concrete in a tube really because again they'll chew through spray foam, they'll chew through caulking. Um, so use a professional. You have steel wool. Uh, we use copper because it doesn't rust but you know steel wool works really great. Uh, and concrete or metal flashing is the best way to exclude them. Prevention by design. Okay, so we'll have more information on our website as well. It's Greenleaf Pest Control. Uh, Daniel, thanks for coming. We didn't even get into roaches, but that's pretty comprehensive. On the rats today, we'll bring in another day to talk about roaches. You got it. I'm sure everybody at home loves that. Okay, everyone likes it. Everyone right loves now bugs. Breakfast television. <laughs> uh, we'll have lots more coming up right after the break. Okay, thank you, sir. You're great.